Hello and welcome to another expert stream in the Monster Marsh tournament. Second one of the day. This is Golden Ferret, who did 16 in qualifying, so something to build on. Let's get into it. So we've abandoned the rough bump on one. I'm going to try something different. Hey Peter. Still working, terrible state of affairs. Yep, yeah, my day off today, so as much golf class as I can get. Thank you for the good luck, sir. Thank you for popping in. Have a good day at work. Or a bearable day. So, I'm going to go one to one. I'm going to use two backspin and land it on the fairway. Because the rough bump just won't work for me, no matter what I do. A familiar sight. The rough pump drizzles up, dribble, dribbles, dribbles up short. Right. I'm gonna go one to one. We're gonna put the red. No, we're gonna put the blue ring this time, right on the rough line. Three and three. Try three and three. Didn't reset the app. Need to reset the app. <clears throat> still getting a laggy needle. That's still miles away. Make sure reset the app after this hole. So we just did a Milo account, that got 27. We screwed up the 18th, otherwise we would have had a 28. That is currently rendering, I guess, by YouTube. That should be on the channel in about an hour. And we'll do this account now, and we might do a pro account after this. I've got four experts and a pro this week, so. Disconnected. Quick forfeit before he disconnects again. All right, let's restart this up. So do this. And we'll do this. Where's it gone? There. See if that helps us at all. Maybe not. 
I've been able to. I'm this close to buying an iPad 5 mini, I'll be honest. <laughs> this Android tablet's there. It was great for the first six months, but now it just seems to lag. Especially after I've played on it for a while. And it is charging right now, which doesn't seem to help. But It's going to have to charge because we're only on 60%. And we've got a lot of Golf Clash still to play today. So, hole two. Um, we're going to go to the left side. All the top and three right spin with 10% over adjustment. Yeah, I got a lot of temporary disconnections now, Peter. Um, I had four disconnect bogeys in the same round. A few, was it last tournament or the one before? I think that, that was before the update. Uh, this tablet's a Huawei, Hawaii media pad. I think it's a media pad M8, M10, something like that. It's a nice device, good for everything else. It's good as a tablet, to be honest. The screen's lovely. But yeah, it seems to be struggling now with Golf Clash. So I might just have to bite the bullet. And get myself one of those fancy iPads. Because everybody I talk to that's got one says they're buttery smooth. 4.7. So the benefit on this account is we have Thor 6. So this will get us a lot further down. Looks like the restart worked. <laughs> so, can we get 370 ish? 371, something about that. 372, we'll take it. So, 10% thorn, 10% elevation, I should say. And we're going to play it 55% of the club. just going to use two or three right spin and it might not even need backspin we'll have a look I've dropped this I think I dropped this on this account in qualifying it did come in a little bit hot but but if it goes in it doesn't really matter So we're going to use 55% on the slider. Three and a half rings. missing right which tends to mean it was over pulled seven one three and a half maybe that's just mid although it felt like it missed by more than point ten Interesting. I think the adjustments are right. We might just have to aim left lip instead. I think. Good to know. Right, hole three. 
is going to be a QB. No, it's not. <clears throat> so nothing on one, nothing on two. No change there. Three presents a decent chance though. If you can get the drive right. It seems a fairly consistent adjustment for the second shot. Right, all three. Tap a QB down there. Somewhere around 3.30, 3.34. And that'll give us the sniper rough bump that we're looking for. Hopefully. Gio Viviani. Ciao, how are you doing sir, you alright? Lovely to see you, thank you for the good luck. Right, let's see if we can get this drive where we want it. Big wind, big wind. Mm, great left. Let's hope the curl saves us and the side spin. Oh, it's not gonna. <laughs> oh dear. Too greedy. Oh, I should have had the. Should have had the uh, Spitfire on. Although, to be honest, I never dreamt I'd go in that sand. That is poor. So, just try and salvage the eagle now. Bye bye, Alba. I don't know why I've started letting the needle pass more than once on my drives. Usually I'm a pullback, passes to the right and then I release on the next pass left and recently I've started letting it go. And it's all in your mind but it's got to be a mental thing. When I do that I never seem to hit perfect. Right, let's see if we can muscle this up there. Six, seven, it's not good. So. Three rings of overpower. That should be okay. Stay off the green, thank you. Hey Mark, thank you for the good luck sir, thank you for coming. Uh, round's going alright, just started this one, we've done one already, that'll be on the channel shortly, it's just buffering that I think, or whatever they call it, rendering. Uh, this one started with the, the dreaded birdie birdie one and two, and then we've just driven it into the sand on three. So, 
there will be no albatross on this hull, at least not on this front name. But hopefully we can save our eagle. We might not need to if this chap puts this in the hull. We've done three so far, 27, 30 and 32, excellent shooting. Very good. Yeah, I think it's going to take a low score to win this one. For sure. Certainly in pro and, yeah, expert. Probably the same. That's min. Wow, that's awful. Am I going to get lucky? I am. That's dreadful. That was a double great left. Gotta love the end bringer though. So forgiving. Two more to go. Wow. Beer o'clock. Cheers to that. You got five in expert, Mark? Or do you have some in, in pro and other divisions? Master maybe, I don't know. I've got four in expert this time. Four in expert and one in pro. Which is nice. All expert, yeah. So you're getting five looks at everything. That's that's really good. Especially if the clubs are all similar. Good luck to win. Right, onwards hole four. No. We want that and that. And we're going to play this at 40%. Which might sound silly, but I've been playing at 20% and adding an extra ring. And that is essentially 40%. So Let's see what we can do. Ah, no, all your clubs aren't the same level. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. I'm like that as well. You end up with five sets of notes then, don't you? Hi David, welcome back. We will try bud, we will try. Not started very well. Nothing on the first three and we drove the sand on three, so... <laughs> Took ourselves out of the Alba immediately. We saved the eagle, so that's okay. So yeah, 40% for me now on this hole. 40% downhill. And that's just to give it a chance at the HIO. I mean, the advertised 20 is more than fine for... Um, Getting on the green. Seven two, that's quite a low wind. Six one. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think how many bars does the other one have about that? Six and a half that is. Five, six, one. That's definitely the tighter line. That's about right then. So that was six and a half back, I think. So it maybe needs to be about 6.2 backspin. 6.2 ish. Okay, Ricardo Brown. 
you can use QB, yeah. I think some people are for the accuracy, but um, I love my Thors, what can I say? QB Rock, both good options. Obviously, 100% accuracy clubs at the higher level. So, To be honest, though, it'd take a pretty rank shot with the Thors to, to foul this up. But go with whatever you're comfortable with, absolutely. Whatever works is the best club. For me, it's about trying to get closer to that HIO, which that was not far away. So I think, let me write that down actually, 6 points. Let's see, 6.3. 40% over. Good, got that for the next time. Now, we're changing this one after David's sage advice earlier. We're going to go. Well, this is interesting because I've got an APOC 5 on this. I think. Neither of these clubs, I don't think, need all the overpower and all the top spin. Let's go Thor's just for consistency sake, because I've got Thor's on two accounts. So we'll go Thor's hammer 10%. Yeah, right side, yeah. I was playing I was playing right, but I was playing the layup right and then David mentioned on the stream earlier on this morning that there's a, a decent OP shot, so we've switched to that. Hornet, good shout. Well done, just in time. <laughs> Let me get this bag. This can be bag four then. So where is it? There it is. Well reminded, sir. Okay. So I'm going to go six top. You've been playing it with an extra mile later and a POC. Max top. What APOC is that though? Is that APOC? F well, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, well, if it's five, it's got more yards, hasn't it? Five, yeah. I'll try with Thor six because I've got Thor six on my other. Well, one of my other expert accounts, so if I can get that nailed in, that's better. I've only got APOC 5 on this one, you see. So we'll go 6 top, 2 right, max OP. Five point three. Shall we use all the, uh, all the top spin? Let's use all of it and see what happens. Um, so we want to look down about 5.3. More of a crosswind up. We'll come off the rough a bit this time. Wow, that's wild to the left. <laughs> Just stay dry, that's all I'm bothered about. So that's not miles away from where we were last time. Last time we made it over, but then we clipped the rough by the bunker, so... We should still have a hornet from here. Oh, it's a, that's the wrong ball, yeah. Well, actually, that's good to know that a kingmaker works as well. <laughs> uh, where's my... That's the wrong one, isn't it? Let's change this bag quickly. Just so we get the right number. Yeah, I was meant to use a Zerk. <laughs> Never mind, though. There's some uh, evidence that a Kingmaker will work if you don't have any Zerks. Although why you'd have no Zerks, I don't know.
mid thorn if you use the zerk. Cool. Let's see what we've got here. This might be the yeah. Should we try? Seven seven. Two point eight of min. It's probably more than that. We'll try three rings. Timing is awful. Awful. What a waste. Anyway, we probably won't be in that position, so. We'll take the eagle and we shall write down Zerk in the notes. Because it isn't written down. Let's type it now. Force hammer 5 or 6 and Zerk. Two right, did we say? I think we said two right, didn't we? And that leaves a mid short iron, we're saying. Right, notes are updated. We will not make that mistake again. But nothing lost, that's the main thing. Microfox, welcome along. Thank you very much for the good luck. How are you today? <clears throat> if wind is below nine, you need a liberty ball. Okie doke. I think I've got Liberty Balls. I've got something similar anyway. Something with no wind resistance. In fact, I might have Ghost Balls on this account. Don't do the right, it brings the bunker into play. Better to play two left. Okay. So no right. No right. Okay. If I'm going to keep hitting double great left, so I'd be a bit nervous about putting left spin on it. <laughs> I'll go with full top and no side. That's what we'll go with next time. We shall try that on the back nine. Right, six. What are we doing on six? We're going sniper, sniper on six. Still determined to get this dialed in. Right bag on. <clears throat> so yeah, if you see any shots that I'm not playing that you've you've seen and that work, shout up, let us know. All here to learn, me included. This is, I do this every time. I think this is the next hole and it isn't. It's the par 3 first. Why do I do that? So this will be 20%. Yeah, absolutely, David. Several looks at everything then, don't you? I try different things as well. I tend to do that in qualifying. I'll, uh, I'll play all different kinds of shots. Just to rule them out more than anything, half the time. your luck. No 
dice. Ah, oh, you start with the blue ring in the bunker, do you? At plus nine. Mm-hmm. I've been playing at plus at max distance blue ring ever so slightly off the bunker. I did that on the last account and it went in, so I think there's probably a few ways to play this one for the same net result, really. But it's uh, it's only going to miss by a fraction, this one. If you hit perfect and, and pull straight. Alright, there we go then. That's what I've been doing actually. I was playing it literally touching the lip of the bunker. And I was... I wasn't getting it, so I just make it come off a tiny bit. Yeah, I think it's definitely droppable from around there. Well, I know it is, I just did it on the last account, so. We'll try it at the weekend. That's when it needs to drop. Right, what are we on to now? We're on to seven, which is the sniper sniper hole. <laughs> so I've not seen any hero shots on this hole yet, but I haven't really had a great deal of time to watch people this week, so. If there is some kind of. Overpower Zerk Slice. Let me know. I know there was in Pro. Played the, the Extra Mile and Berserker in Pro. Quite easy to drive the green with that. But they've given us Cruel Wind in Expert. Well, not Cruel, but it's not a fun wind. Let's put it that way. So a second shot will be that. What did I want? Five top four right now. Five top four right. I'm going to try and get it across a little bit more. And we'll just adjust it one to one minus a ring. So, what's that? Seven rings. I'm looking for that 212 number. Oh, yeah, that's a lot shorter. But maybe that's a good thing. We did play that more to the right. You play this with extra mile 8 or Apoch 5 with a Liberty Ball 20%. 5 top as much left and 3 quarters curl right. Leaves you about mid thorn at 0%. That must be down the left side then, I guess, Mark. Past the, the bunker. Which is probably the the sensible way to play it. Or the percentage play at least. Yeah. Rubito, welcome sir. Thank you for the good luck. I've I just despise this hole. <laughs> the number of times I put balls in the water here is, is ludicrous. Hence why I've gone for a safe conservative birdie at worst approach so I'm going to use more right spin here I want to try and have it lined up with the wind I want it through the hole so 5-6 I haven't played it this way before. I don't usually use loads of right. That's still going to be short. So it definitely needs two top. That is sure. I quite like all the right spin there though. Let me try that next time.
Yeah, you're right, David. I think as well, especially with this account, um, with that Thor 6 and all that top spin, I should probably be considering that, really. But I do try and find shots that I can play across all four of my accounts to try and at least have the same rough setup for each account. Definitely a smoother green though. This used to be really bumpy. But it's nice to see they've taken that away because it was just silly, really. There's another one. Hole. I think it's hole two in this tournament was the same. That used to be a bumpy as hell. Hole 8 you use 15% and then minus 0 0.2, no spin, aim at the hole. That sounds similar to what I'm doing for hole 8, I'm playing the sniper. I did try the QB rough bump, but uh, not a fan. So I'll be going back to the, uh, back to the sniper bounce. And I'm playing it, I don't know what the percentages are, I'm just playing it 1 to 1 plus 1 1.3. Unless it's a really low wind, in which case I play... Plus 1.2. It's this hole here, isn't it? So that's not tournament wind, so we'll not have a practice. But yeah, I've heard the QB, the rough bump there, win 5 power 0 ball. I had notes saying one top, one left, at minus 10% min numbers. But I did that on the last stream and it, I didn't really like the look of it at all. So we will stick with what we know, which is this one. So yeah, a lit literally a trickle, a trickle, a tickle of backspin, a smidge, a bar here, as we would say. And then one one plus one point three. But let's see what wind we get. This isn't the Henrik, is it? I think it might be. I think it might be. No, I don't think it is. Oh, well, the clan rings a bell. Familiar sight on this hole, drifting by. We don't need that. A uh, little bit of backspin. So we're going to play plus one point three. So ten point three rings. Sausage fingered adjustment there. No, oh, that's getting closer though. <laughs> nice so that's how I play it. Smidge your back. Wind plus one point three rings. If the wind was like seven point two, I probably would have done plus one point two rings. Fine margins and all that. 
Ten point two was the number. <laughs> You're not wrong. Although I don't actually know if I pulled ten point three there because I, uh, I sausage fingered the last point two, point three, whatever it was. But you could be right. If I did pull ten point three, then ten point two was the number. Right, on to nine. Need this then. Need some sort of extra, otherwise this is gonna be a a bang average thirteen front. Uh, we don't need it doesn't matter, that bag will do. Right, ten percent Taurus hammer. And what distance are we looking for? About four twenty. 4.15 to 4.20 will do. And as we learnt in the last account that was streamed, even a short drive, so my drive only went 4.05, I think, on the the back nine on hole 18. So we played mid numbers, which was logical. It was mid distance of the club. But we missed the rough completely. So I'm kind of inclined to say, as soon as you get past 4.05 yards on this drive, up to 4 20 it's just a min number no matter where you finish which is a bit weird I'm probably not right <laughs> to be honest Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna have It's all about the distance here. Fine. We'll take 4.15, we'll play it at min, no matter what. Let's catch up on this mark. I've been playing the QB rough bump and a power zero ball. If you hit great right, you end up with a long end bringer shot. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's the thing. That is in my mind on some of these holes, especially the par threes. You don't, well, not even the part, all the holes. You don't want to jeopardise the safe birdie, safe eagle. Um, not that a long end rigger shot really jeopardises it, but it makes it harder than it needs to be. Like me on the third there, driving it in the sand. It's just frustrating. On hole nine, if you get 338 with Goliath, play max minus 0 0.1. Okay. On hole nine... Do you mean 438, Ricardo? I think you might mean 438. Chris, welcome, sir. Right, let's get this min set up. Min all the right spin is what we've got. We don't want that, we want that. 6.7. How's your luck? Oof, miles away. Overpulled. Overpulled, even though it wasn't as far. So I've, I think I made this from 421 yard drive, which is further than that, playing the min number. That's very strange. What was that? Eight point four. 
Maybe it's minus five. Maybe. This course is a bit like that. It's a bit weird. It doesn't correlate. Just because your drive goes less distance doesn't mean you don't use the same adjustment. It's a bit weird. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Minus 10 on the sniper. Well, that's where I'm going wrong then. If it is minus 10. <laughs> I've not got that written down, but then I've, my notes, as I say, aren't great yet. But never mind. G Bone Daddy. I missed the rough bump. Everything seemed right and went off to the right rough. I'll try Min. Yeah, I think Min's the, the play. I mean, that was Min and that was too much. From a 415 yard drive. Just curious. Mike Dittlehead in the chat. Welcome, sir. How are you? Not killing it. Not in the slightest, but, um, you know, no mistakes. Well, we've made mistakes. The scorecard shows no mistakes yet. Bit of a letdown after 16 under qualifying for a 13 under front nine, but it's only opening. Plenty of time. Got to work, can't chat much, but hi to all. Well, enjoy your day at work, Mike. It is Friday. I am off today, which is beautiful. Hence all the streaming. May even stream pro later on. Good luck to you. Right. So, poor. Poor, poor. Par, basically, is what that is, isn't it, really? This is the same bracket I was in before, so I think we already know what's at the top. I think it's the 29. Or it was. Yeah. There's Milo sitting in 10th now. Look at that. Disgusting. <laughs> right, play hole 10. Um, don't know what to do now on this. I might try the rough bump again, having said I won't. Pick a number, doesn't seem to matter. 35, 50, 75. <laughs> All seems to be the same. I'll go 30. Let's try loads of left spin this time and see what that does. It's Friday and you're the only one in your department not off today. That is brutal. However, that means nobody can catch you watching Golf Clash all day, so, you know... Swings and roundabouts, my friend. Swings and roundabouts. Hey, Michael. Thank you for the good luck, sir. Thank you for being here. So, maybe we should just try a Guardian Max, not Guardian. Yeah, Guardian Max Backspin. I haven't seen anybody try that yet. I don't think I've got a Guardian bag on, though. He dropped it today, but you had the wrong ball and it was had to overpower. <laughs> if it goes in, it goes in. The scorecard doesn't say how it went in. So let's go 11. Um, oh, let's try something like that. So the trouble here is the rough's a bit thinner. Eleven rings. If it works, we'll have to watch it back and see what we did. I have no idea. Not that it'll work, because it never does. Not with a great right either. <laughs> we'll hit the rough. Still misses left. Great right still misses left. I think we're all sick of this hole already. It's not even the weekend yet. Absolutely, G-Bone. I'm going to try... I'm going to try a Guardian. It's the ball... It's the compressed ball guide that makes it hard. Because on a rough bump, it shouldn't really make a difference because you're going to land once and there's no real secondary wind effect because... You're on the ground straight away. But it still seems to. It's bizarre. G 
you know, I haven't seen anybody make this yet. I don't think. I haven't watched a lot of streams, but I don't think anybody I've watched has made it. And none of my opponents have when I've been playing either. So if you can get it, it's definitely an extra. You're definitely one up on the field if you if you get hole one or ten. Would be my view on it. Alright, we'll forfeit this one. Let's see how many chests we've got. Do I have any power zero balls? Yeah. Got, got loads of white balls. <laughs> I know. Uh, wind fire. I think I do on this account. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, power zero. That'll be that one. I don't have many, I don't think. I've saved one Santa. I think I've got one down here somewhere as well. Yep, one of them. So I'm del deliberately keeping them in case I need a shot on a weekend round that requires that ball. Because I have two left. Don't think anything else here is that spider ball. No, it's... I love the eye box. Really hope they bring more of these out this year. Um, probably one of my favourite balls, the eye ball. So yeah, not many on this account. This account needs everything. It's got no gems. I'm just waiting for Win 5 Power Zeros to show up and I'll probably buy the 50 quid package, I'll be honest. Which is ludicrous, really. But but you need them. You need to have them. Right. What were we on to there? Two. Hole two? Yeah, Santa Ball. Zenith Ball. One of my accounts has plenty. I think it's the Milo account. Because my main doesn't have many either. Um, I don't know what the last one they released was, but I didn't buy enough of them, clearly. Uh, right, what are we doing here? Thor's Hammer. No, nope, don't want to horn it. Maybe we do want to horn it. Maybe we should try horn it. No, because our settings are based on a thorn, so let's go with a thorn. So you did use a zenith mark, but that made you need a little bit of OP. So maybe power five, sorry, power five. Win five, power one might be the play. Which is an eyeball, or an aero ball, or... Is it a wave breaker? I think that might have been the same. I don't know, I think the wave breaker was 5 0. I can't remember. Anyway, let's concentrate on dropping this thorn first. Because we were close, but not close enough on the front. So you played about 1.2 top, 1.2 left. What, and just ball guy through the hole, I presume? Because that seems to be the falling point. I think every time I've tried ball guide through the hole, it misses right. So I'm inclined to go ball guide through the hole and then just move the whole thing right a bit. I don't know. We'll see. Um, how much? Three right. Not set up. Not ready. Five, seven. So we do want this all the way down there. Preferably. Great, shot. Great left. It should be all right. 371-ish. 369, 373. Right, I'm definitely playing that mid numbers because 370 was 55 percent. Mid numbers 10 percent. It's not that club. Where's it gone? It's that club. Let's see if we can drop it. There's a funnel here. Lay up. You mean lay up with a sniper? Like really short. So I used to play it in tour play sometimes if you got the wrong wind. Do you mean lay up here? And then funnel it up here? Yep, yeah. okay. Interesting. It's still going to give you crosswind for the second shot though, but then a funnel's a funnel. Have you seen anyone stream that, Mark? 
or short on stream. Be interested to see that shot. Right, uh, two or three right, fifty percent. That's three point seven. I said left edge, didn't I, last time? Pull straight. Did all tell you all about that? Oh, come on, man. Jesus. Ugh. Frustrating, frustrating. Mario man, welcome. Thank you for the good luck, brother. Hope you're well today. Do you play this differently to all the streamers for the second shot? Do you play the same drive mark and then a different second shot? Is that what you mean? I'm just trying right spin to align with the wind there, but I'm pretty happy with it. But if there's a better way, I'd love to hear about it. I wouldn't be landing on the fringe. If I had a choice. Hit it, man. Close. It seems to bounce on that fringe. Big bounce. Big bounce. Right, so, no good there. Let's see if we can not drive it in the sand on 3 or 12. I'd like a look at the Alba. The Alba that uh, we saw on Ditto stream the other night, followed by two more. Hat Trick King. I don't think I've seen that on stream before. Three albums. I've seen three hole in ones. I know Jesse's done that on a, on a nine. You've been landing on the slope with max right spin and the ball guide through the hole. About seven out of ten drops so far. Nice. That's a decent return. Maybe have a look at that in the back nine. Then are you driving it as far? Are you driving it sort of three? What did I say we were about? Three seventy-ish. Guessing you will be. Right, we could do with a few extras here, just just for a tiebreaker to go with our sixteen. That sixteen is going to be wasted if uh, if we can't do something here. You had thirty-four in your opening round, Ricardo. You shot that, or somebody else has. Either way, that's uh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Ditto. I've choked since too much pressure. No, you haven't. You're just saving yourself for the weekend, sir. Saving it. And you're not driving it quite that far, Mark, to use that second shot. Okay. Well, I think I'll probably stick with that shot for that hole. Saying that, I don't drive it as far on my Milo account, and I won't be driving it that far on my Baby Expert account, because it's only got an extra mile seven, and no APOC. <laughs> Although I think I might have just got the Thors up to Thor 4. Anyway, we'll see. 350, 360, yeah. You shot a 26 G-Bone, not a single drop. I'm guessing that might have been meant to say wank. Um, that's alright, I'll get you through. Oh, wow. <laughs> Apologies for my language then. Uh, yeah, well, it's only opening. You want them to drop on the weekend, that's when it matters. How many times have we all blitzed it on opening round and then just absolutely shot the bed on the weekend? Getting progressively better, that's what you want to do. Which is pretty hard when you do a really good qualifying score, but 
Nothing worse than shooting a worse score on the weekend than opening. That's like criminal, really. Use a less wind ball for two on two for an easier on second shot. Okay. Use a less wind ball. Oh, I see what you mean. With, right, I get you now. Yep, that is worth considering. Uh, that one. Right, can we do it? Can we? Can we not drive it in the sand? I'm gonna go further right, just to make sure. Actually, I don't want to be that far right. Main three. What I'm gonna do here is not let the needle pass more than once. And I still hit a great left. But I did use more right curl. Don't be in the sand again. Unnecessarily close to the sand. <laughs> but we'll take it. 336. We're going to go 70% club for 336 at minus 5. Thanks to... I forget who it was. Was it No Breakfast? Is that who had a chart? Ditto? Oh, there goes the charger. 70%. We'll try that. So let's see if Dual 20 can do it. Wasn't watching his adjustment there, but looks like he's trying the same shot. Mr. No Breakfast has the super secret chart, yeah. <laughs> super secret chart. Can't beat a super secret chart. 85, 70 percent. 7, 7. All's the right. Through the hole. 7, 7. I don't know why I'm always pushing this. Maybe I should be pulling it. Be the one. It's not the good angle. It's not the good angle. That would suggest over pulled by point one of a ring. 7-7 seven, seven with an 8-5 wind. Yeah, we'll call that a 65% club then. How far was it though? 3-3-7 three, three, I think. What did I say we'd call it? 65%. See, I need the super secret chart. Jesus. It's so selfish not sharing it. Who keeps a chart to themselves? <laughs> That's good, though. We've got several references now for that. So what have I got written down? 333 three, three is 80% club, apparently. 337, three, we've just decided, is 65%. And 340 is 60%. Yeah, or minus point 0.1 exactly. Um, it's a shootout, is it? Right, come on, we need an extra from somewhere. This is getting desperate now. Are we on to four? Maybe this is the extra. Maybe this is the extra. Get it set up before we get in. So Thor's hammer, forty percent. <clears throat> this could be the one. Six point three back, max left. 
three quarter, just under three quarters of a ball of curl. Yeah, I use the same and then minus the 0 0.1. Yeah, what I might do is look at these numbers actually and work out what they are um, off 50%, off of the mid number. Instead of fannying on with the slider, I might just work out that this yardage is minus 5% obviously for the elevation, but it's min minus 0.2 rings or whatever it is, or plus 0.2 rings. I think that would help me more than... I never do well when I've got to adjust with that slider. It seems to distract from me concentrating on the shot. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> so, come on, 6.3 back, max left. Let's get a hole in one. Let's just remember the spin. That's the main thing. Here we go. 8, 6.7. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six point. What did I say? Six point three. It feels about right. Six point seven. That's five. Six point seven. So it keeps keeps taking us to about plus four. With a Thor six. Oh, that's great, right? Dire. It's going to be fine, but I'm not going to get a proper look at it. Maybe we need a great left. So we've got closer than that on the front nine. Betty Swallox, what a name. Why is this lagging so much? Do I need the charger in again? Honestly. I might go and buy an iPad 5 at lunchtime. I'll be honest. This is doing my nutting. Ball breaker, Betty Swallix. Plan for them here. All the chip. Fruit bat. Let's see what he's doing though. We might learn something. Although he's using APOC. Not APOC. Extra mile. How many games has he played? I'd have thought he'd have a better driver for this than an extra mile. Accuracy is key here, and backspin. Stop, stop. Oof, that's why I wouldn't use the extra mile. <laughs> no rough bump, Lee, not for me. Not for me. I think we're going to get close though. Close to dialing that in that way for the hole in one. Pretty settled on 6.3 back and max left. At plus 40. Yeah, you're right, Lee. Exactly right. Uh, me, on the other hand, as soon as I could stop using it, I stopped using it. <laughs> I'll probably use a Thor's 3 over an extra mile 7. Um. Jim North, welcome. Thank you for the good luck, sir. Hope you're well today. Hmm. You could be right, Lee. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. I would say the same as that, Lee. As soon as you've got a viable alternative, I would use it. But then the, that's tricky because you spend the first I don't know, six months of your golf crash career coveting the extra mile card, don't you? I remember one tournament when I'd not long started playing. Or maybe it wasn't that, maybe it was a, one of my rookie accounts and I was really, I was farming two or two to try and get extra mile cards to get out to an E-mile, e E-M four or five. But then like you say, once you get a bit further on, you just don't need it really. Right, 14, we're gonna right, we're gonna remember the Zerk this time. <laughs> Cause we forgot last time. Well I did. Now if we do need more, what have we got? We've got a fusion. Which is the same I think as a Liberty Ball. Well he's not win five. 
Mm. Power two though. Mm. Oh, we've got a Liberty as well. Same thing. So we'll set up with a Zerk and see where that takes us. We're going to go no side spin on... Whose who's suggestion was that earlier? I can't remember if it was Mark. On this hole, I'm better with the extra mile in the Thor, more distance. But what about the top spin? What about the fact that its accuracy is 45? No, I love my Thor. I love it. Right, we want the Hornet, don't we? And you know what? If we end up doing what we did last time, let's change the iron to be something I like more. Like my backbone. So let's just do this. I'd rather be prepared. Did we say Hornet? We did. It's a wrong bloody hornet. Whose bag is this? This is that one. Actually, let's leave it like that. Right. That and that go. Do with a few chests. Might have to play a few shootouts here. Right, let's change this all around again. We'll have that. And that. And that. And that. Oh no. And that. So many clicks. Welcome, Golf Crash Italy. Welcome, welcome. Right. Full top, no side spin. That's what we'll try. And hopefully not a double great left. Let's see what Frankie can do. 435 is mid thorn. Okay. Is that zero elevation on the thorn? Or whatever horn it is, I think we've got. Plus 10. Okay. Noted, thank you, Mark. Eleven three. No, 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 no. Eight rings. I really want to use right spin. I honestly think this might be too much top spin, you know. That absolutely jumps to the left, that release. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, don't be wet. It is wet. That's criminal. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I did think that might be too much top. After we played it with a Kingmaker last time by mistake. Hmm. Well, we may as well have a go now. We've got nothing to lose. So, now that we know that happens. 11379. That's with a double, double great left. Which loses your distance. Let's try a different number. 82. Go one, two, three, four, five, 
six top one right. It's nearer the bullseye. You're right about the right spin in that, that bullet bunker though. It's whether I can rely on myself hitting close to perfect, I think. Too much top spin, says Lee. That's why you play this hole to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking now, David, after seeing that. You try with a little bit of left curl as well. Um, so we're going to call it a max. Oh, come on, man. 11.3 rings. Can we save it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I can only apologise for the state of this hole. <laughs> it's not usually this bad to anyone that's new. Uh, yeah. I think we could maybe get to third fairway. But then what do you really gain by doing that? That's the question. Because the last thing I'd want in that wind with a zero wind ball would be a a max end bringer. Right, that was ugly, but let's not worry too much about it. Uh, 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 which hole are we on? Par three. But good to experiment with these things. That's what opening rounds are for. me. I'll have to go back and look at the tee box there because if there's no trees in the way that's a big if. There might be a hook there. So I think you probably want top and right spin. Maybe not actually. Maybe just top. We'll see. Oh dear. So six tops seem better anyway for the Thor six. If you're gonna go full over power and hit close to perfect, then I think six tops, six and a half is probably about about right. See if we can get that back here on this par three. Right, twenty percent. That's our spin. Four and a half, six right. So we want to be just off. Perfect at last. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Ouch. Okay. Okay, okay. Try the plus nine. Oh, I should have used the... <laughs> Sorry, Ricardo, I've just seen that. So you're... What, to remind me again, you're using plus nine and you're having the blue ring in the bunker. Or just into the bunker, you said, didn't you? With, I presume, the same spin set up. Four and a half back and six right. <laughs> Robs. <laughs> Sting a bit, yeah. A little... A little. Only because I want to get back to par after that mistake. I'm pretty happy with that adjustment though, I'll be honest. 20%. Four and a half back, six right. I mean, we did have the blue ring. This isn't tournament wind. In fact, I need a chest. Hang on. Let's just try it. Yeah, we did have the um, the blue ring a little further off. Whoa, look at that. We won't be winning any chess with that shot. Excuse me. Um, Ricardo, a smidge of blue. A smith. <laughs> I think you mean smidge. That's all right. Hmm. Maybe go back and see what win we had there. 16 is... Uh, should we try something different here? Seeing as this round's a write-off now. We are going to qualify, I presume. Are we? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Do you know what? That might not get through. I'll be brutally honest. 25 might not qualify. Saying that I should have a decent 25 because I've got 16 to back it up. Mm, maybe we need to play safe just to get through. Who's not played yet? Many? No, there's only about 10. Yeah, I think 25 will get through. 25 should. We'll just play safe though. I'm not putting another one in the water. Can't afford another messed up hole. <coughs> so, sniper, sniper. And do you know what? Maybe I'll play the last. Maybe we'll play the second sniper just straight up. So we keep coming in short. Six and a half rings. Just scurrying around trying to find a charger for this laptop. Because it's about to die. Oh, 
didn't see the yardage, but I'm going to guess it was around 212, like it seems to be every time. So if we get 7.9, what's the difference? 0.3 of a ring. Maybe we'll play 0% and take off 0 0.1, 0 0.2. I'm going to stick with using the right spin though. Try and line it up with the wind. Get in. Mm. Red ring by the rough this time. So that's consistently missing our square right. Wonder if we need to adjust the target back. I'm gonna look at the landing spot. Because you are just an uphill there. So Theoretically, you should drop the target back. Maybe that's the key to it. Maybe. Right, let's see if we can pick up a chest before we finish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Embarrassing. It's too close for me to forfeit though. I might actually win with 2.41. So we'll have to wait, I'm afraid. I apologise. So, let's go 1 to 1 plus 1.2. Because that would have been in last time on this hole, on, for the proper hole. After all this waiting, we better win this shit out. <laughs> We're not going to win, are we? He's going to be closer. <laughs> oh, what a waste of my time and yours. I do apologise. <laughs> Good luck, Yogi. Oh, he was live. Right. Need this now. A bit of pressure on these last two holes, to be honest. Could really do with this dropping. No worry, says Jeevon. All good, I made a GT, says Mark. <laughs> nice. Very nice. My spirit of choice as well, a GT or gin. Come on then. One to one plus 
we'll go 1.2. We shall listen to the crowd, especially with that win. Smidge of backspin. And then slightly left of centre of the cup. I don't actually remember if I've ever... This should be safe, let's not, let's not panic, but I am a little bit worried about not qualifying now. And I think that's only ever happened to me once, when I've tried to qualify, where I haven't... Because what I usually do is get halfway through an opening round and fall asleep. And that's fine, they obviously don't qualify. And they're flappers, but I know they're not real flappers, but I've got... I think I've got one real flapper. This would be the second. Don't need that, Tony. Don't need that. So, 8.5. Perfect as a must. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's in my head. No way, you're not that lucky. You're not that lucky, son. Yeah, it was not lucky. It was a... It was a bad shot that nearly went in. It was a Ballinger. Almost. Almost. If you like gin, look out for Four Pillars Bloody Shiraz. Okie doke. I shall Google that after. So, we go down the last in a position where, should the unthinkable happen, and I somehow drive the water, we genuinely might not qualify this round, uh, this account, which is bizarre. I felt really dialed in as well, actually, before we started. Before I started the other account, the Milo account, which should have been a twenty-eight. We blipped the last hole, but that was essentially a twenty-eight. Oh, thank you, Yogi. Good luck, sir. Yogi must know we're struggling to drop us a free chest. Bless him. But yeah, I felt, I felt quite good about this. <laughs> now I don't feel so good. But we have put one in the drink, so really we should be 24. We should be par, really. But how many 24s are there? Quite a few. So I'm going to be the best of the 25s. I'm going to be the best of whatever number I think I end up with, to be honest. So it should surely be safe. We can be 35th now with about a third of the group still to play. Let's not worry, let's just play play 18. And let's hope nothing silly happens. Maybe the silliness will be the first bloody extra of this round. Who knows? Who knows? But this iPad is... Not iPad, what is it? This tablet is uh, getting charged to max before I play again. That's for sure. As soon as you get under 50%, it really doesn't like it. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, I might uh, have a spot of lunch and see who sells the cheapest iPad 5s near me. Minis. Seeing that, minis. Yeah, I think I want a mini. I think the big ones are too big. So I like to have it in my hand when I'm playing. The, the tablet, that is. Um, I think if you get a regular size iPad, that's probably too big, is it? I don't know. Do any of you use a regular sized iPad? The 9 or 10 inch ones? Because I cannot play this game with the tablet flat on the table or something like that. I just can't get away with it. Have to be holding it for some reason. So I think a mini is probably best. And I guess if I got that, then I could grind two accounts at the same time on off weeks. Be more productive. Just looking for reasons to 
justify it to myself now. Jeeb One uses a standard iPad. Okay, do you hold that when you play then, Jeeb One, or do you sort of rest it on a on your knee or a table or a pillow or whatever? Mark plays on a Samsung Tab SSE or a ten inch iPad. Okay. Same question then, how do you hold them or rest it, yeah. I could probably get used to resting it, but it'd be a change. Eight, four, five, six, all of that and some of that. Let's not go wild on the right spin. It's a pretty straight wind as well. Felt like it was barely worth doing that, to be honest. Don't be in the rough, please. The tiger line, as they call it. You rest them as well. It undoubtedly is more stable, to be honest. Log logic says it should be, yeah. I just need to find a way I can play with it resting them comfortably. Maybe I'll buy one of those little... Um, prop up stand things that RJ and I think Chris uses one of them, Chris Hagen. Austin uses a 10 inch iPad as well. Hard to play with though because you're normal. Okay, so that's interesting. That was like me though, when I first went to a tablet it took me about two weeks to get used to it because I was so used to the phone. Yeah, that's my own, that's, to be honest Mark, that's the only reason I haven't done it yet is because of the and I never used to use the crosshairs ever. I used to have notebook all the time, and I would never give up this having it on the screen. But um, is this zero percent? This I don't know. Too late now. Nine one nine seven point three. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Wrong club. Wrong everything. Maybe I should just play up five rings. Five rings. I'm going to go just under it because I do not want to miss the rough. Which I probably have with a double great right. No! <laughs> you couldn't write it. You couldn't write it. I didn't even look at the yardage of the drive. Jeez Louise. Right, I could be out. Could be packing my bags. Knocked out in the opening round. Jesus. After a 16 under. To shoot a, what's it going to be? A 24. That's poor. That's very poor. Come on, save it. Save it, man. I don't know why we're even doing this. 1.3 at min, and it's going to be like. Cannot move more than that. Deep breath. Perfect shot. Phew. <laughs> Nothing like a sweat, eh? Nothing like a sweat. <laughs> well, at least that was slightly entertaining, if nothing else. Well, that was diabolical. Absolutely wretched, as my good friend Mr. B would say. But we we'll probably make it through. Maybe we're saving it for the weekend. Who knows? I'm going to play the shootout. Why not? What does Max Backspin do here? Not enough for that. Does this do anything? Nope. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, if this went in, that would just be hilarious, wouldn't it? <laughs> After that. <laughs> Good funnel there, right into the bunker. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the, uh, the the comments about the save. Shouldn't have been needed, but... but I've got to watch my drive distances. Got to be more prepared. That's what I need to be, more prepared. But yeah, we did save it. I'm sure 20, what is it? What have we got, 25? I don't even know what we've got. Why are we not forfeiting this? He's clearly going to get closer than we did. Good luck, Big B. Twenty-five. Oof, that's ugly. Look at that. <laughs> Lovely. And look at that. How can you only shoot? So in nine extra holes, I've only gained nine strokes. Well, I guess it's about waiting now. One, two, three, four, five. I've got. It's got to be safe, do you think? Do you think? Maybe not, you know. It's only going to take 15 more to knock us out. So 15 people finishing at par or better, which is what that is, 26. This could still be out, let's be honest. It's a nervous wait. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway... That's that for now. Apologies for the quality of that stream. There was nothing to learn there. Well, not from my shots at least, but there we go. Um, Orlando, welcome. Have you caught up, have you? There's nothing worth seeing in this stream, Orlando. Nothing at all. Mark thinks I'll sneak through. Well, I hope you're right, Mark, but uh, otherwise that will be quite embarrassing. So <laughs> we'll see. So two more experts to go. One will be later today in the next hour or so and a pro at some stage. There'll be more streams today, whether it's this afternoon or tonight. If it's tonight, it'll be about 10 o'clock UK time, which I think is, what is that, 5 p.m. Eastern American, something like that. Anyway, we'll see. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate the support. Really appreciate everyone being in chat and uh, helping me along the way, keeping me entertained, keeping me positive. So good luck for your rounds. Play well. Do better than I did. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.